Steel is down this morning. It reported a fourth straight quarterly sales decline. Despite reporting a double beat on earnings, the iPhone maker already facing a slowdown in China. Also warning about a sluggish holiday season. Ryan, this is such an important report because not only is it the most valued company in America, in the world, at $2.5 trillion in value, but it gives us a window into the consumer, into the supply chain, into China, and it doesn't look good right now, Ryan. Well, I think it's, it's more indicative of an Apple story and where, technology, where their story is with regards to that iPhone is it's becoming more commoditized. That's 50% of the revenue now. Um, and you're at a point now where you're just not going to see that huge growth like you used to see back in the day when they were more innovative, like you mentioned earlier in the show today. And it still trades like a growth stock, and I would argue it is a value stock. Um, it used to trade at like 15 times forward earnings, trades at 30 times forward earnings. And, you know, we talk about the massive amount of cash that they're sitting on right now, $162 billion. Wow. Which, by the way, now is getting 5% thanks to the fact that interest rates have gone up so much over the course of last year. Put that in perspective, Walt Disney has a market cap of $150 billion. <laughs> so they have more wow. cash on their books than the, the entire company. Um, but I also think this is the story of, of where you want to put your capital right now. And I've talked about this a lot. Buying the S&P 500 you're just buying the Magnificent Seven. You have those seven mega cap stocks that make up almost 30% of the capitalization. Yet if you look at their share of the earnings for the S&P 500, it's only like 17%. So they kind of uh, hit above their weight. So I think you do want to diversify away from just owning the S&P 500 now because you have these big mega cap names like Apple that are probably gonna see their growth slow. Um, you know, they're priced for massive growth. And meanwhile, the rest of the market is just extremely cheap right now. Um, you're getting dividend yeah. yields of over 3%. If you look at small caps, they trade at like nine times forward earnings. So as an